We're members of NPR and that means we pay an annual fee so that we can receive the programming they do. The All Things Considered, Morning Edition, Fresh Air, different shows that we run throughout the day. And those are sent to us by satellite and they, we stream them onto the air. And when we have Colorado Public Radio stories, we uh, insert them into that feed throughout the day with our newscast, with features, with Colorado Matters. And we also work with them to cover stories that are in our region. Um, whether it's a story that we've covered and we've told them about and they want to hear on their air so we pitch the story, or if it's a big story like the Aurora shootings or wildfires where they need the story covered from here, they come to us and we provide that for them. Once we identify a story, how does it really come together so that we can put it on the air or on the web? And what does a reporter have to do to make sure that they have enough information to tell a thorough and really compelling story? Every story is different, which is one of the things I love about this job, that every story is a little bit of a treasure hunt. Um, you start going with what you know. Um, so if it's an area that, that I've covered before, I usually have a pretty good Rolodex and I can call people that I've worked with in the past and say, are you the person I should talk to about this or, or is there someone else? And, you know, every interview you ask, who else should I talk with? And they'll usually give you a couple more names uh, and you sort of begin to piece together the outlines of this, uh, this subject you're tackling. Fact-checking is integral to all the stories we do. When we're worrying about pronouncing something, I'll call a gas station in a town and ask them how they say the name of their town. It's, it's kind of funny how wide you can cast that net to make sure you're getting everything accurate. The beauty and the difficulty of radio is that it's not enough to have a good story. That is only the first step. You then have to find the person who can come on and tell that story in an engaging way, in a way that people understand. And that's where a lot of our energy is spent. Okay, we have the idea, the issue, uh, the, the, the news peg. Who are we gonna find to tell this story in a way that will engage listeners? The producer writes the script, um, writes the lead and, and many questions, and is also in that script identifying elements for social media and writing a tease and a headline for the web. So there's a lot of stuff that you wouldn't think of that goes into a script. I like to think of the script as a strong suggestion for the host. So it certainly reflects the stories we want to draw out of the guest. It reflects the follow-up questions we want to ask. But when you get into the studio, it's two people talking, and conversation can go in any direction. Maybe you have heard me or our three other news hosts with our hourly news cast throughout the programming day. These can be kind of tricky because we're trying to squeeze a number of stories in a short period of time and try to give you just the details about these stories that we think are important for you to hear. The hosts are responsible for newscasts throughout the day. We've got them close to the top of the hour. They're after the NPR newscasts. And basically, you know, we always want to make sure we get at least three stories in. Sometimes that's all you can get in. But the top stories of the day, the newest information, so that every time you tune in, you're getting the latest of what's going on in Colorado. And, you know, with that public radio voice. Now, it's no longer enough to have our news content only on the radio. Multimedia content is the new standard, and moving beyond radio is increasingly important. CPR News is available now on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and at our website, CPR.org. Social media is important here at Colorado Public Radio. We utilize it to bring people in closer to what we're doing, um, closer to both our production process and hoping to give them a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what we do here. And we also use it to engage people around the stories that we report on. CPR walks the walk. CPR says it believes in great journalism, but it puts the resources and the investment behind that statement. And that's really special. And that's something that the people of Colorado should be really proud of, that they've been able to support that kind of a resource in their state for all these many years.